happy Black Friday, everybody! We're gonna get started live at five with art by Jenny Lynn Chase. Alright, so it's five o'clock, and I'm so happy everyone could make it here this evening. I'm gonna show you lots of art. I'm gonna show you some of my early stuff and some of the more recent stuff. So what I think I'll do is show you some of the paintings I've done in my Urban Toronto series. I live in Toronto, Canada, and when I first start, moved here, I started painting scenes around the city. So I'm going to show you a few of them, and remember, everything today is 30% off just for Black Friday on my website, jennylynnjames.pixels.com. Look at this cute little one. It's on solid wood panel, acrylic, and it shows a scene of Toronto breaking through the fog. That's what I call it, breaking through the fog. So there is the city skyline. And it's kind of like today, very cloudy. You have the sun trying to peek through, breaking through the fog. So that's what I call this one. Next Toronto scene. This will be coming up soon at Harbour Front Centre, ice skating. So downtown Toronto, near the lake, everybody goes to ice skate when it's frigid. Because we have seven months of winter, it's one great activity to do. Go ice skating at Harbour Front Centre. The next Toronto scene I'm going to show you. I used this on the cover of one of my first memoirs and it shows when I first arrived in Toronto. So it was an unknown city and there we were walking up to the unknown city with my red suitcase and a lot of trepidation. Next! In Toronto people do a lot of commuting. So this is a painting, acrylic on canvas, 20 by 24, and you have someone boarding the streetcar. So this one's called Hop on the Streetcar. We do a lot of commuting all around the city. So this is acrylic on canvas, Hop on the Streetcar. Now remember, if you go to my website, today everything is 30% off, just for Black Friday. Here's another familiar scene around the city. This one, another streetcar is on Spadina Street. The streetcars go right down the middle of Spadina Street in the city of Toronto. So 20 by 24 acrylic on canvas. How are we doing this evening? Let me show you another one. This one I call Taste of Little Italy. And I painted from a personal experience going to a festival called Taste of Little Italy on College Street. And there were very few Italians there. There was everybody else, including the salsa band, playing music. So Taste of Little Italy, and it shows how cosmopolitan the city is. In the summertime, we used to have lots of street festivals. one of my favorites and it's a biggie 24 by 30. This one shows the Toronto city skyline at New Year's Eve so I call it celebration time. So it's a city skyline at New Year's Eve celebration time 24 by 30 acrylic on canvas. So if you go to my website jennylynnjames.pixels.com you will see all those paintings of Toronto. Now I'm going to show you some cute ones of dancers. This one I call it Jubilation. Okay, 20, 20 by 24 Jubilation. So we have some dancers on stage dancing to folk music most likely very happy scene you need a lot of that happiness now 
Millie. As I show the paintings, they will make their exit on the left stage. I'll show you some more dances. This one. Tango dances. Look at them. Really cute. It takes two to tango. That's the name of this one. 20 by 24. It takes two to tango. Yeah, there was a time when I painted a lot of dancers. I got carried away. This is another favorite. So a belly dancer. And you can see the movement as she whisks her uh, fabric round and round when she dances. So that's part one. Part one in our evening of paintings. So all these paintings now will make their exit and I'll bring some new ones. So let's get a little music while we wait. from the trip to India water women I call these because some women walked in their brightly colored saris carrying buckets of water and you'd see them in some of the country towns so water women so these three from India they go for 150 but with, with uh, a 30% discount today on Black Friday you can get it at a sale so put a message in the chat box, let me know. I'm going to show you some from my uh, late and landscape series, some little ones. Like this one. This is actually Karen Swamp in Finland. And so we have the swamp water, light reflected through the mangroves. And in all the swamp pictures, I have a white egret or blue heron or a little bird motif in all of them 
Here's another water scene. I call it alone because we have the lone uh, blue heron in the marshes looking at the sea. So this one's called alone, eight inches by eight inches, acrylic on canvas. Another favorite water scene in Ontario. This is at Lake Muskoka. So a lot of people like to go to the lakes during the summertime. And so you have a scene here sitting at the lake. These are typical Muskoka chairs. That's what they call them. For sitting at the lake. Acrylic on canvas, eight inches by eight inches. Here's another lake scene. If you go to the Lake District, north of Toronto, you'll see cottages, sometimes even cottages on little islands. So I took a lot of photographs, this is back in 2014, and I painted many of the images that I saw in the lake. So this is a cottage on a little island in a lake. Now, I'm going to show you some other small paintings that we have. And these are cute. I did a series of high heel shoes. And some of the shoes I actually own. So this one is called Party Time. It's oil on canvas. Let me show you another. Another one. This shoe, I call it New Year's Eve because you have the, the shoe and the matching handbag and I actually own these. So this one's a favorite. Here we have a favorite red type of shoe. This is a great one. This shoe I call Gucci Mama. Gucci Mama. So a nice, stringy, a strappy, high heel sandal. This one is awesome. Okay. I'm going to show you some more small paintings. Then we'll get on to the big stuff. So a few little ones. We have this painting of Jimi Hendrix that I did back in 2015 for a series called Musical Inspirations. So I'll show you some small ones from my Musical Inspirations series. Jimi Hendrix, 8 by 10. Esperanza Spalding. She's famous as a jazz bassist and jazz singer. Here we have some jazz boys, abstract. The trumpet shell sound, so again, abstract jazz painting. So nice little ones, great to fill the space in your home or office. Last year I went to Cuba and there were musicians playing on the streets all over Havana and all the small towns too. So this is an example of some people I saw, I took lots of photographs and came back and did like abstract painting, something like so. So Cuban boys. Some more Cuban musicians that I saw in a cafe. Right, I call this Jazz Parade, 8 by 10. So acrylic on canvas. I'll show you some more little ones that I did recently. Blues, Blues on Blue, that's the name of the series. So blue paintings on a blue background. So we have several like that, eight by 10. Blues and jazz musicians on eight uh, by 10 canvas. So it's acrylic on canvas. And here's another cute one, 8 by 10 So as I said, 
all paintings are going for 30% off on the website for Black Friday. Some more Cuban musicians, a cute little 8x10 acrylic on canvas. And lots of little ants. When I first moved to the city of Toronto, I did some paintings of my neighborhood, and this one is oil on canvas. 10 inches by 10 inches oil on canvas. And this was done just sitting at this window looking outside, and that's the scene. On my street, we have one or two churches. And this is one of the churches just down my street. Oil and canvas, 10 inches by 10 inches. Here's Windermere Street in my neighborhood. So all the little houses there on the street. Some of them have since been renovated. So they won't recognize themselves in this painting. And then a house on Annette Street, oil on canvas, 10 inches by 10 inches. So these are some of the small paintings that I've done. Yes. Jumbo size. Where are we going with it? Can it be any bigger than that?
So one of those really big ones. All right, I'm going to put back the massive paintings now and bring out some regular size ones. But the big ones are good for large buildings, large homes, corporate office. And they're all available on the website. JourneyLynnJames.pixels.com Reasonably sized paintings. Here we go. to do here. Now, let me show you some of my floral series. Look at this narrow one. It can be placed in a space horizontally or vertically. You know, if you have a narrow space to fill, this one is great for that. So abstract violet flowers. All abstract and great for filling a narrow space in the home. Let's look at another one in the floral series. This one I call pastel love. So it's abstract roses. Great to provide calm and beauty to the bedroom space like that and this painting has a bit of texture let me get closer so you can see there's a bit of texture in the painting so not just flat so very very pretty for decorating a room it's called pastel love okay they're quite wide so this one <laughs> 4 by 36 pastel love acrylic on canvas this was another um, acrylic abstract floral and as you can see we have drips of color so lots of pastels and very good for decorating the bedroom or boudoir I call this one April showers April showers so lovely for decorating a girl's room or living room anything like that so pastels with the floral theme this one I call floral blush so you can hang it horizontally or vertically we have cinnamon pinks white 
So this is a lovely one for decorating a boudoir or a bedroom. Pastel blush and it's 18 by 24. So it can be hung horizontally or vertically. Here I have a landscape of sorts. This is Hyde Park in Toronto. And you have the cherry blossoms that come into bloom in Hyde Park every year, every spring. So this painting is called Cherry Blossoms in Hyde Park. You see the pink cherry blossoms and the path leading to a lake in the park. Cherry Blossoms in Hyde Park, 18 by 24, acrylic on canvas. again abstract floral so this is a beautiful little one for the bedroom or for a little girl's room again pastel floral theme and this one has quite a bit of um, texture to it too so I use acrylic gesso to add the texture right so it's an abstract floral piece This one is my favorite. So it's a pastel blue creation, blue rose, lots of texture as well. Right, so it's not just flat, it's, there's lots of texture in this blue rose. So very pretty for decorating bedroom or just a living room, an office if you want to add some beauty and light to your office space, this is a nice one. Big jazz, big pink jazz. So again with lots of texture, big pink jazz. and the vase tumbles. So I had some fun creating this, this pair. Again, it's acrylic on canvas. The vase and the vase tumbles. This one, yellow orchid, is oil on canvas. So great for brightening up the room. Oil on canvas, yellow orchid, 20 by 24. So this is a beautiful one for decorating your space today. I'll show you some more in the floral theme. If you have lots of walls and no windows, you can create a window in your space by showing this virtual window. It's looking out onto sunflower fields. Right? And we have a little bird motif here as the bird sits on the windowsill. So, on a plain wall, this creates the illusion of a window quite effectively. So, very good for brightening up your space and all the empty walls in your home. The last one in the floral theme, I call it tapestry. So abstract floral, abstract floral, you can hang it in many different directions, but it's great for decorating your space 24 by 30, 36 actually, 24 by 36 acrylic on canvas and full of texture all sorts of texture in this one so it's not just a flat painting and it goes on and on and on so lots of texture lots of abstract floral themes and pastel colors 
facing and you can hang it in many different directions depending on your interpretation of this twig of flowers okay so i call it tapestry blue tapestry right so that's it for the floral season uh, the floral series. series thank you for watching and i'm going to now put the floral series away and we'll play some music while i bring out the next theme so let's pop some music <laughs> Continuing now with a new theme. The theme this minute is classical music. Classical music. So let me pull out some classical music paintings to show you this afternoon. Some of you might know I, I'm a soprano. I sing with the Toronto Mendelssohn Choir and we perform with Toronto Symphony. Now during COVID-19, we can't have live performances anymore. But to bring back the memories, I have been painting from uh, memories, from photographs, scenes from the past, and over the years I've created a collection of classical music paintings. For example, this one that I did recently, I call it the orchestral circle. Okay, so here we have the leads from the Toronto Symphony and the organist and maestro conducting. Orchestral circle, 12 inches by 12 inches. Here's another cute one, and I'm actually in this painting. Right, so after performance of Handel's Messiah, I decided, coming home, really tired, the team to the canvas, and paint this beauty. So this was Christmas 2016, I believe. And here I am in the painting back room. Usually I stand in the back row because I'm one of the tall ones. So, acrylic on canvas. Toronto Mendelssohn Choir. And some of the people portrayed here, they can actually recognize themselves. Amazing caricature. More of the classical music series. This one celebrates our Christmas concert that Toronto Mendelssohn Choir will have every year. It's acrylic on canvas, 24 by 30. And there you have the conductor. He used to wear his typical red jacket for Christmas while he conducts the uh, Christmas concert. So again, I've placed myself right there with a big afro in the middle of the painting. That was fun to do. And I put some texture in the afro as well just for fun so celebration time christmas time that's what this this painting brings back memories of christmas concerts with the toronto medals choir this is another christmas memory and this one is a big one that i painted last year so it's called um, Messiah Handel's Messiah and this celebrates the performance of Handel's Messiah every year when Toronto Mendelssohn Choir joins the Toronto Symphony so we have some members of the symphony portrayed here we have the string instruments soloist maestro over here you see some more strings and violins and violas and then members of the toronto mendelssohn choir cute when it was really really big back in the heyday so that's what this painting represents a performance of the handles messiah it was a difficult one to paint because there are many characters in the painting, but fun to do nevertheless. Right, still on the uh, orchestral theme, here we have some strings, 
So we have the bass, cello, violas, violins. Again, members of the Toronto Symphony here with Maestro conducting. So this is a little beautiful one, acrylic on canvas, 12 by 16 inches. Continuing with the classical music theme, you have the percussion instruments in the orchestra, timpani, xylophone, gong, chimes, drums. So this one I call percussion time. Here's another cute one representing the strings. The bass, cello, violas, violins, acrylic on canvas. I call this two by two. Because we have two from each section of the strings in the orchestra. And all these paintings are available on my website, jennylynjames.pixels.com. You can check out all the paintings, jennylynjames.pixels.com. The paintings are also available on merchandise, you know, like uh, masks, face masks this year. We have bags and nice pillows and cushions. You also stationery. You can order stationery from the website with your favorite paintings. So check out the website, jennylynjames.pixels.com. So here we have the woodwind instrument, the flutes, French horn, clarinet, bassoon, oboe. I call this one windy woods because it's a woodwind instrument. Let's see. And one last one in the classical music series. Alexander Messiah. I have another big one. I can show you. Jumbo size. Classical music. So this one is 36 36 by 42 so it's quite big it's called alexander messiah so in 2019 at christmas time maestro alexander shelley conducted handel's messiah arranged by mozart and this view is a bird's eye view so sitting in the choir loft this is what we saw we saw maestro we saw the strings, some of the brass section as they perform and then the audience in the background. So I'll do a close-up so you can see some of the uh, instruments. Here's some of the instruments here. And this maestro Alexander Shelley. So Toronto Symphony in Roy Thompson Hall in Toronto, and we have the audience out in front. And I was sitting in the choir loft with the rest of the choir. This is what we saw while we performed. So that's the end of the classical music series. So you can take a break and we'll listen to a little music while I put away the paintings. show you some more in this series. Then we will take a little break. It's a big series. I didn't realize how many, but almost there. There's this one I call Maestro's Gaze. Maestro's Gaze, 24 by 30. So it's a little humorous because this is one conductor that we had. He would just hear the musicians while giving out instructions. And so here we have the leads of the Toronto Symphony. 
the leaf violinist, ch uh, cellist, viola, and bass. So if these people were to see themselves, they would recognize themselves in these caricatures. Maestro's gaze. Is the constant. We have another one. This one was fun to paint last year, and I call it Punk Fiddle. So I converted a photograph of the lead violinist of Toronto Symphony, made him into a punk, you know, with ta piercings and tattoos and all. So this is acrylic on canvas, and one of my favorites to paint. I did this during the winter 2019. So the punk has all the buttons on his jacket, the skull ring, and piercings. And he's very focused on his music while he plays the fiddle. So punk fiddle. Let's see. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one was a nice one to paint to some of the uh, brass instruments in the orchestra. Blow it out, that's what I call this section. Blow it out, acrylic on canvas, not a texture in this painting as well. See the musicians focus on their craft. And then this one is certainly the last in the series now. Bass support. So some of the uh, deeper sounding uh, string instruments. You have the bass. You have the cellos. It's a piece of the symphony. So unfinished symphony. Symphony in dot dot dot. I've called this many different names, but uh, it's just a piece of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. The cellos and the basses on stage at Roy Thompson Hall. So now this is the end of the orchestral series of paintings. I'm going to take a break and put away all the uh, classical music paintings and we listen to some music. You can grab a snack and come back in about 5-10 minutes and we'll start again. I'm going to just put away the music musical paintings. So, part two of our live show. I'm going to show you a lot of beautiful stuff now in the second part of our live art show. So what I'll do first is show you some limited edition prints. Those who want a small piece of art and they're not pre prepared to buy a large painting, I've created some limited edition prints from my musical series and a few others as well. So I'll show you some of these prints now. They're fully matted. What, what that means with the matting, all you need to do is buy a frame and put in your artwork and you're ready to go so this piece i call trinity and i'm going to show you the original painting in a minute trinity fully matted so the limited edition prints are on my etsy page so if you go to etsy and you type in my name jenny lynn james you will see the limited edition prints here's another one from my jazz series. It's a painting of Aretha Franklin on the piano, tribute painting, and she's in the club. So I'm going to show you the original in a minute. This one, and the matting is 16 inches by 20. This one, Guinea Supper Club. So fully matted print. And this is another one, all that jazz.
more jazz. This is from a nice big painting I did last year. So more jazz. And the limited edition prints. I did maybe five of each. So when they're gone, they're gone. This one, jazz trio. Okay. And we have one of my favorites. Hazel Scott. Right, so in the jazz series, Hazel Scott, jazz trio, all that jazz, more jazz, Guinea Supper Club, Aretha Franklin in the club. Trinity. Limited edition prints are fully matted. All you need is to buy a frame at any department store, 16 inches by 20 inches, and put in your print. And the limited edition prints are all signed, have signed all of them. We have this one too, the Supremes. And now I'll show you some of the classical music prints. Peter's Circle. So a circle of musicians. It represents Peter Ungen's last performance with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. For those who know Peter Ungen. And this one is one of my favorites. Okay, it was purchased by a good friend, a dear friend who was in the Toronto Medicine Choir, the brand or the original. So Great picture of Toronto Meadows and Choir in concert. We saw this original a few minutes ago. Unfinished Symphony of Base Support. We also have a nice uh, quartet, string quartet. And welcome again. Now that the technology is cooperating, we'll continue with our Black Friday show and I'm going to show you the a water series. So this one I call Serenity, acrylic on canvas, Serenity. So great painting if you want to have a nice calm space, Serenity. So we have the Blue Heron theme and he's in the marshes enjoying the sea. Serenity. So this one is 30 by 36 inches acrylic on canvas. Okay, I'll show you another one in the water series, 30 by 36 again. Morski Oko. So this is a beautiful water scene if you want to decorate your home or office. More skillful. It's a lake way up in the Tatra Mountains in Poland and I actually visited the lake. In June there's still snow in the mountains. More skillful. Acrylic on canvas. 30 by 36 inches. So here we are. We're looking at some paintings. Art by Jenny Lynn James on this Black Friday. Ah, sure. This is uh, one of my favorites. So peekaboo, peekaboo heron at sunset. So you have the uh, blue heron motif and the blue heron is looking out into the sunset in the marshes. So peekaboo heron, heron at sunset. Acrylic on canvas 20 by 24. Here we have Sariska Sunrise. Sariska Sunrise. Okay, and here we have the sun coming up over the mountains early in the morning. Sariska Sunrise. Acrylic on canvas. Here we 
have the nether water seam. Let's take these around. So we have the Caribbean swamp and we have another heron motif here. Alright, so in the marshes, the reflection of light coming through the end of the tunnel and reflecting onto the water in the marsh. So this one we call alone because the heron is alone. Two little birds at on the uh, pond, and again it's an early morning scene. And I, I uh, used photographs. This was uh, based on a, a visit to a national park in Rajasthan in India. We went very early in the morning looking for tigers. Instead, we saw monkeys and lots of little birds. So here we have two little birds in the pond and you can see the ripples of water that they make as they, they walk ever so slightly looking for fish and insects in the water uh, around, the, around the pond. Two little birds. And again, with this water theme we have Relaxing in Muskoka, 12 inches by 12 inches, acrylic on canvas. So, a nice uh, water sea. The lakes north of the Toronto city area. Now, I'm going to show you some from my jazz theme. some little ones this one I call the Supremes acrylic on canvas so ladies dressed in blue and I've done several along this theme I also have a limited edition print a different version of the Supremes so this can be framed and mounted but this is an original acrylic on canvas again available on my website jennylynjames.pixels.com here is another painting along the jazz theme cotton club in harlem so I looked at some videos and photos of the Cotton Club and came up with this acrylic on canvas, Cotton Club in Harlem. So this one, 16 by 20, Cotton Club. This is one of my favorites. I call it Guinea Supper Club because I actually visited the Guinea Supper Club which is in the basement of the Red Rooster restaurant in Harlem. I was there last year, last July, for the Harlem Book Fair. And after the book fair we went to Red Rooster restaurant for dinner. And sure enough there was a jazz band playing down in the basement members of the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra and in the middle Delfeo Marsalis. So it was such a treat to hear the musicians. When I came back to Toronto I looked at all the photographs and videos that I took and I was able to create this painting acrylic on canvas 30 inches by 36 inches Guinea Supper Club. Next one in the jazz series, Hazel Scott. This is one of my favorites. Hazel Scott, 
So it's uh, acrylic on canvas, 24 by 36. A Hazel Scott was a child prodigy. Born in Trinidad and Tobago, she moved as a um, toddler to New York City with her family. And she excelled in music, classical music, and then continued in jazz. So she was a jazz pianist. She was known to play two pianos at the same time in concert and sing. So very talented and she's the first woman to have her own TV program in United States back in those days, 1940s. So quite an accomplished musician and singer. Hazel Scott, acrylic on canvas, 24 by 36. Continuing with the jazz series, we have Trinity. So again, a lovely theme of uh, three singers like the Supremes being accompanied by jazz instrumentalists. So this painting I call Trinity. So it's 24 by 36 inches acrylic on canvas. Trinity. And I also have limited edition prints of this one. So if you go to my website, jennylynnjames.pixels.com, you will find Lots of images of jazz musicians. If you're interested in a limited edition print, you can get that on my Etsy channel. Here we have another one along the jazz theme. So I call this more jazz. There will be jazz musicians jazz it is 24 by 30 acrylic on canvas so you have the jazz musicians continuing with this theme last year in Toronto we had Dan Aykroyd and Paul Schaefer in concert at the Toronto Jazz Festival so this is just one painting that I've done to celebrate the momentous event because a lot of crowd came out in the to Toronto Jazz Festival to see Dan Aykroyd and Paul Schaefer. So that was 2019 Toronto Jazz. I have another one based on that same show. It's a different aspect. This one is Landscape. So again, Dan Aykroyd and Paul Schaefer, Blues Brothers sort of theme. So acrylic on canvas, 24 by 30 inches. When Aretha Franklin died, I did a tribute painting to Aretha. So this was one of my tribute paintings of Aretha. Aretha in the club. So as you can see as I come closer, you have Aretha at the piano and people in attendance having drinks in the club. So we just see them holding their glasses while Aretha plays and sings. Right, so Aretha in the club, 24 inches by 30 inches. Jazz and Blues series, we have another pretty one now on a blue background. Lady Sings the Blues. Who is it? Billy Holiday. Billy Holiday, that's right. Billy Holiday in concert in the club. So this is another club scene. Billy Holiday, 24 inches. By 30 inches. And uh, now this one looks familiar. Who is this? Josephine Baker and the Flappers. So there's Josephine with the Flappers performing. And she promoted jazz in France way, way back. 
1920s, 1930s, and beyond. So Josephine and the Flanders. Great theme for subsequent paintings. A lot of jazz greats died this year, or musicians on the whole died this year. And one who died was Little Richard. So this was my tribute painting to Little Richard. Judy Freedy, oh Rudy. Judy Freedy, oh Rudy. Little Richard, acrylic on canvas. 30 inches by 36 inches. Just a few more to show you in the jazz theme before we end tonight. How basic in concert with this whole jazz orchestra. Again on blue background. And this year, Manu Dibango died during the whole COVID-19 pandemic. So here he is with a nice colorful, colorful shirt, Manu de Bango. So this is a tribute painting to this great um, Cameroonian saxophonist, Manu de Bango. I call this painting the amazing green coat. It's a tribute to Manu. Right, and the last in our jazz series, it's one of my favorites. And this one, I call Pan Jazz Festival, 36 by 42. 36 by 42. So here we have, again, Manu de Bango, we have Esperanza Spalding. It's like the grand finale of all the jazz paintings. Trombone Shorty, I put in the Supremes there, John Coltrane, Arturo Tappin. Uh, Len Luxie Sharp makes an appearance on the steel pan and then we have all the dancers enjoying the music so this is one of my favorites and it's the grand finale of our art show tonight so this one Pan Jazz Festival acrylic on canvas 36 by 42 so thank you so much for tuning in tonight. All my paintings are available on jennylynnjames.pixels.com and I hope you visit the website. For tonight, we are offering 30% off all the paintings and the prints. So please contact me. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Hope you enjoyed all the art. It's 10 years of work and I'm celebrating 10 years as an artist.